Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you the experiment 2 of our Form 6 Supplementary Laboratory Activity Program. And this experiment basically illustrating to you the oxidation stage of vanadium-containing species. Basically, it comprises of a series of chemical reactions of which we are able to produce vanadium-containing species with different oxidation states, and most importantly, we are able to see the corresponding color. Before we get into the actual procedures, first of all, you need to be familiar with these vanadium-containing species. First of all, we have the dioxo-vanadium-5 ion, VO2+. Plus. The vanadium atom is having a plus 5 oxidation state, and it is yellow in color. The second one is oxo-vanadium-4 ion, VO2+. Plus. So, this is having the oxidation number of plus 4 for its vanadium atom, and it is blue in color. Moving on to vanadium-3 ions, V3+, plus, the oxidation state is plus 3, and it is green in color. The last one is vanadium-2 ion, V2+, plus, the oxidation state is plus 2, and it is a purple ion. So these are the four chemical species that contains vanadium that we are going to investigate. Now, also look into this section of electrochemical series. First of all, uh, at the bottom left corner, we see the oxovanadium-5 ion, and it is the strongest oxidizing agent among the entire species here. Also, looking at the top right-hand corner, you see zinc. And zinc is definitely the strongest reducing agent. Now, when we react zinc with dioxovanadium-5 ion, of course, you would expect to see the reaction pro proceed and it will produce V2 plus as the final product. However, if we, are, if we can carefully adjust the quantity of zinc that we added into the solution, then it is possible that we can reduce the dioxovanadium-5 ion in a stepwise manner, meaning that we can first reduce the dioxovanadium-5 into oxovanadium-4, and then vanadium-3, and lastly, vanadium-2. So we are able to produce different vanadium containing species, and from there, we are able to uh, observe the color of different vanadium containing species. So this is basically what uh, the Part A procedures is concerning about. Now we also have a Part B, basically we try to perform more redox reaction with dioxovanadium-5 ions. Okay, so let's move ahead to the procedure part. Now in this clinical flask, we have the dioxovanadium-5 ion dissolved in an acidic medium and it is yellow in color. So before I start part A, let's quickly transfer small quantity of dioxovanadium-5 ions into two test tubes for our reaction in part B. Now to that, we are going to add the zinc powder. Also insert the cotton wool to prevent the solution from splashing out. Now, at this stage, you may see a green solution, but do not mistake that as the V3+. In fact, this green color is due to the fact that part of the yellow dioxovanadium-5 ions has been reduced to oxovanadium-4 ion. 
Knowing that oxo-vanadium-4 ion is blue in color and the dioxo-vanadium-5 ion is yellow in color. When yellow is mixed with blue, it gives you a green appearances, a green color. So here, it is simply a mixture of yellow dioxo-vanadium-5 and blue oxo-vanadium-4. Let's add more zinc powder so that we can reduce most of the dioxovanadium 5 into oxovanadium 4. Now, the solution appears blue, meaning that the majority of the vanadium containing species is VO2 plus, oxo vanadium 4 ion. Let's go ahead and add more zinc powder so that we are able to reduce them into the green V3 plus. Now the solution is giving you a green color, meaning that the majority of the vanadium containing species should be V3+. Let's go ahead and add more zinc, and we are aiming to reduce it all the way to V2+. Now we are trying to reduce the V3+, into V2+. In this step, we may need to speed up the reaction by adding the setup into a hot water bath. Now the solution appears purple. Now it may not be that obvious because the zinc powder kind of suspending in the solution and makes it a little bit darkened. Alright, so this is showing you the color of the vanadium containing species as we add different quantity of zinc into the mixture. So we start off with over here the dioxovanadium-5 ion, where the vanadium is in plus 5 oxidation state, you see that it is yellow in color. Now moving on to the first color change here, you see it is green in color, but reminded that it is actually the result of the combination of yellow dioxovanadium-5 ion and the blue oxovanadium-4 ion. Okay? Now this blue solution is showing you that the mixture contains mainly oxo-vanadium-4 ion where the oxidation state of vanadium is plus 4. Moving on to this green solution where the majority of the vanadium containing species is vanadium-3 ion. And lastly here, this is showing you vanadium-2 ion where the oxidation state is plus 2. So plus 5, plus 4, plus 3, plus 2. That's the end for part A. Alright, moving on to part B, we have two test tubes. Each contains the dioxovanadium-5 ions. Now, to one of those test tubes, we are going to add a small spatula measure of potassium iodide.
Now you see the solution changes from pale yellow to pale brown. This is showing you the production of iodine, which makes the solution brown. In order to show the vanadium containing species, we are going to remove the brown color of iodine. To do that, we are going to add sodium thiosulfate. Sodium thiosulfate reacts with iodine to form colorless iodide as well as colorless S4O62 minus. By removing the brown color of iodine, it reveals the blue color of oxovanadium 4 ions. That means iodine is able to reduce the dioxovanadium 5 ion into oxovanadium 4 ion. To another test tube containing dioxovanadium 5 ion, we are going to add iron 2 sulfate. Now the resulting solution appears blue, meaning that the dioxovanadium-5 ions is reduced into oxovanadium-4 ions. As a quick conclusion, in part A, by controlling the amount of zinc that we added into dioxovanadium-5 ions, we are able to reduce the dioxovanadium-5 ion in stepwise manner into different vanadium containing species exhibiting different oxidation states. Just to make sure that you can recognize the color of different vanadium containing species. For part B, when we add, first of all, the potassium iodide into the dioxovanadium-5 ions, the solution changes from pale yellow to brown. That means that the iodine ion has been oxidized to iodine and at the same time the uh, dioxovanadium 5 ion has been reduced. In. Now since the brown color of iodine masks the vanadium containing species that is formed after the reduction of dioxovanadium 5 ions, therefore we opt to add the, the sodium thiosulfate into the reaction mixture the sodium thiosulfate is able to remove all the brown iodine and after the addition of the sodium thiosulfate, the reaction mixture appears to be blue in color meaning that uh, the solution contains mainly oxovanadium-4 ions. That means that iodine is able to reduce the dioxovanadium-5 ions into oxovanadium-4 ion. Similarly, for the reaction between dioxovanadium-5 ions and the iron-2 sulfate. After the addition of the iron-2 sulfate, the solution changes from yellow to blue, meaning that the yellow dioxovanadium-5 ions has been reduced into the blue oxovanadium-4 ion. So, in other words, both iodine ion and Fe2 plus are able to reduce dioxovanadium-5 ions into oxovanadium-4 ion. And this result is agreed with what we have predicted using the electrochemical series. Now notice that both I- and Fe2 plus are occupying a higher position than VO2 plus the dioxovanadium-5 ions. Therefore, both Fe2 plus and I- are able to reduce the dioxovanadium-5 ions. However, looking at the upper part of the electrochemical series, we see that both 
V2 plus and V3 plus are actually stronger reducing agents than I minus and Fe2 plus. Therefore, Fe2 plus and I minus they are unable to reduce the dioxyphenated 5 ion all the way to V2 plus. What they can do the best is that they can only reduce the dioxyphenated 5 ions into oxyphenated 4 ions. The experimental results agrees with what we can predict from the electrochemical series. So that's the end of the experiment.